Hello! Uh, today we going to talk about Paleolithic age. I used to uh, study archaeology as a master program in Kiyomogil Academy. Uh, this is one of the best university in Ukraine. And this is really, really great two years of my life. We started, uh, I got many friends there, and of course we did digging. <laughs> and after the first uh, years of studying, uh, during the summer, we had archaeological excavation in Kirovgrad region. This is central Ukraine, and we dug a Paleolithic Paleolithic age. Uh, this is about um, 100 years, uh, 1000 years BC. And our professor had an idea that uh, in this archaeological site there lived the Neanderthals and also there lived the uh, Homo sapiens, uh, Cramanions. So in such way he wanted to show that. Uh, Homo sapiens, uh, modern uh, European people came from the Neanderthals. Uh, I don't know if he finished his uh, theory, if he uh, approved it, <laughs> but it was really difficult to dig a pilot. Uh, it's not about two meters digging. <laughs> And you will not find there are gold stuff, just uh, bones and uh, mm, stones. Stone that uh, they make like knife of them. You know, they take stones and uh, um, make it sharper. <laughs> yeah, and in such way, now archaeologists found such kind of their knife, stone, knife. By the way, uh, about uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when I started a at university, I found also such kind of the stone knife uh, near my village. Mm. As my professor told, there are probably was uh, the place uh, where these people stay. Not for a long time, but for a while, because they all all the time they migrate from one place to other. <laughs> By the way, they, this is my birth. birth. Carrot. Rita, привет! <laughs> Probably such kind of bird were also in the time of uh, Paleolith. But we come back to the uh, time when uh, the first Homo started. It was uh, 2.8 uh, million years ago. Um, Homo Habilis, Homo habilis, and according to archaeological sources, uh, the human generations uh, was started in Africa, as you know, it came from the Africa. But about one million years ago, they moved to Europe, uh, probably throughout the Gibraltar, through the Spain. <laughs> Because the first archaeological site in the Ukraine was found in the Carpathian region. As you know, the Carpathian, this is the western side of Ukraine. It's close to um, Hungary. <laughs> yeah, and probably through the Spain, Italy, Romania, Hungary, they came to Ukraine. This site called the uh, Korolev, it was site of Pitekantrop. <laughs> they were not uh, totally humans, Pitekantrops, uh, yeah, but they were like pro, pro human. Time, one million years ago, it was uh, very warm weather, everything was uh, green. You, there were different kind of animals. I'm not sure about dinosaurs because I think they died. Uh, more years ago, <laughs> before humans started, yes. Mm. But uh, about one million years ago, uh, the Ice Age was started. It started from Scandinavia and um, slowly 
there appeared the big uh, uh, ice sheet <laughs> and slowly slowly it's moved to the Europe about 150 100 years ago it's moved to Ukraine to the Western Europe and um, climate change a lot uh, in that time uh, it was like uh, everything was in ice you can imagine no trees just grass nothing and we can compare this kind of climate to pole um, circle pole, pole, pole circle now uh, polar polar circle yeah uh, 150 years ago um, in that time here live Neanderthals Neanderthals the big huge uh, humans uh, we, uh, with um, uh, fight uh, with uh, uh, mammoths <laughs> we have bisons uh, they looking after them and archaeologists Soviet archaeologists they compare the life of Neanderthals with the modern life of uh, Chukchi, Chukchi. Um, you know they live uh, on um, uh, on the north of Russia and also some in uh, Alaska and these people uh, Chukchi they uh, use uh, uh, the big tent it's have like wooden carcass or uh, the wooden uh, or stone um, bones base and cover with um, animal slather so in such way uh, Neanderthals did the um, huts they created it with the big bones of the animals like uh, mammoths and cover this, uh, them with leather uh, I post some pictures uh, to you you can uh, see it uh, below uh, the first uh, site of the Neanderthals in Ukraine was found in Crimea it's called Kiyikoba uh, uh, it was cave Neanderthals make uh, home for themselves inside of the cave inside of the big um, mountains big uh, cliff yeah <laughs> And they use it for winter. Um, as a rule, for summer they use just um, they migrate and use just um, transported hut for hut for themselves. Uh, uh, so during the winter in the cold weather, the, there was like minus forty degrees. Uh, they live inside of the cave, and during the summer they lived on the. In the steppe regions, uh, there are, they can uh, look in after animals. They can take grass. Uh, they were close to the river and so on. So, <laughs> so this place, Kikoba, is a um, really suitable place uh, for living because nearby was water as well. It's really beautiful, as you see there and in the same time in the area of ukraine there appeared uh, first homo sapiens uh, chromanions we call them from the chromanion cave i think from in france and the first site of homo sapiens were found in france and after they were found in ukraine as well one of the first uh, site of uh, homo sapiens was found in Chernih region. It's called Mezin, Mezin site, Mezinska Stoyanka. Uh, date 80,000 years ago. <laughs> 80,000, about 20, 80,000 years ago. It was totally cold. It was really like um, the coldest um, temperature uh, in that time. But Romanians, they used to it. Uh, they were really clever people they already use uh, spare and uh, some kind of the archery for uh, kill the animals uh, they are looking not only for mammoth but also for deers 
And what interesting about uh, this side? In this side, archaeologists found bones of dogs. Uh, this is uh, was one of the first sites where archaeologists found domestic animals. Already they had dog. Uh, not only they found there are some bones of uh, wolf, uh, but also dog as well. And exactly in this site, archaeologists found the, the first collection of the musical instrument in the world. Uh, first, they didn't know what it is because there were like bones of uh, animals, bones of mammals, and uh, very interesting. And uh, archaeologists found also there are note, note musical notes. Uh, so in that time already, Homo sapiens use uh, note to create music. Uh, just. Uh, uh, some years ago, a Chernihiv musical band, uh, they tried to create music according to this note. So they made special, special celebration and they play in front of the people the ancient music that was typical 80,000 years ago. You can imagine <laughs> this. So our and sister were really uh, clever. They were really... <laughs> I don't know if I uh, can tell that they were educated, but there was something for sure. They had soul, <laughs> at least. And uh, archaeologists found there are um, uh, bracelets. Already people like some decorations. Uh, bracelet that's made of the um, uh, bones and tusks of uh, mammals. Uh, uh, in this bracelet uh, you can see um, some kind of the swastika, uh, also meander, meander this is special geometrical um, ornaments, uh, later it became popular, it was popular in Greeks, uh, in Greek cultures. In such way, uh, Ukrainian Paleolithic uh, age uh, uh, was uh, and the next uh, age is uh, Mesolith. Mesolith. <laughs> yeah, when people learn how to use archery, how to um, make dishes, clay dishes, uh, and slowly, slowly they develop more and more. But Paleolithic age, it was like birth, birth of the people of the humanity, and you can imagine how difficult it was live in that time when it was cold and you live in the cave. Uh, you need to migrate. Um, so <laughs> I think we don't we don't need to complain about this coronavirus because it's uh, <laughs> for uh, for old people for Paleolith age it was just something like toy <laughs> I think so it's really interesting to discover this uh, stuff but as I told that say uh, it's a bit difficult to dig uh, Paleolith age because it's uh, far far away underground it's about in some places it's about two three meters underground or two and you need to use uh, lopata to dig all this place. By the way, when we made digging in Kirovograd region, local people always ask, uh, ask us, uh, they ask, uh, did you find gold? Uh, do you go to find the gold? <laughs> they always think that archaeology is about finding gold stuff. <laughs> Also, so that is why here very popular black archaeology when people dug this item by himself by themselves and sell it but it's uh, really problem for the traditional archaeology because archaeologists uh, cannot um, can't uh, learn this object they don't know where it came from and they can they don't know what this date and so on many of such stuff you can see in um, andrew streets andrew descent in the central kiev we have street markets it's like 
museum markets there are you can buy different kind of souvenirs and sometimes you can see there are Nazi documents uh, or different stuff from the Second World War, from the um, beginning of 20th century, some archaeological sites. So if you visit Ukraine, Kiev, you can go there and to see some old stuff. This is like street museum. <laughs> Uh, so for now it's all thank you for watching this paleolithic site i hope to make a next video about mesolith and neolith sites in ukraine thank you guys so have a good uh, weekend